Today, welcome back to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the week. And who wants to go first? I always go first. <laughs> Ladies, Ladies first, first. certainly. I'll go first as usual. Uh, well, my big story this week uh, it was actually a case of alleged patient dumping between GMH and GRMC. So there's this family, uh, this woman, Jolene Sinicholas. She felt she was wrongfully moved from uh, GRMC, denied care, and moved to GMH because she has Medicaid. So actually, GRMC doesn't accept Medicaid for all um, all services, but they are required to provide emergency services to every person in the community. However, she was there for two hours. She never went saw a doctor, and uh, you know when she went to GMH, she actually had a lot of complications with her pregnancy. So she said she feels that it's unethical. So we'll have the full story on that online on KUM.com. Also, a big story this week was with Superintendent John Fernandez. Uh, it's been up for debate for a few months now, but he was finally uh, re-voted in by the board, so he will continue past June 30 next year. So he's actually only the second superintendent ever to serve a full term, and now he's the first to continue. By way of unanimous vote also. Yeah, unanimous yeah, vote. Yeah, so a lot of support for John. Thing, yeah. Like on tw He's huge on Twitter. He's Twitter famous. Yeah, the, the, the Twitter community loves him. The kids, he's, he's very, very supportive. very accessible to the students via yeah. 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 social media. So while you're talking, Jason, you're next. All right. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. What's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that was basically the highlight of my week. You know, um, I had the privilege of, we got, I got the day off because so you anchored a solo. Thank you for that. It gave me some time to actually go to the theater and capture on Periscope and on Snapchat and all these different social platforms, seeing the pop culture movement that is Star Wars. You know, it's many people have been saying it's the film that's been expected more than any other this decade, certainly well justified. Um, people were really, really excited. Um, lines were long, but not tense, not violent, not, you know, no snippiness and everything like that. A very, very positive environment. Everybody was there to have a really good time to watch The Force Awakens, the 7 o'clock shows, the 10 o'clock shows, Agana Heights, or Agana Shopping Center Theater, Micronesia Mall Theater and everything like that. It was really, really good. I, I, thought, saw it was, the I film. thought it was really good. Okay. Reviews without point, spoilers. Point of clarification, just because we care about accuracy here, I was working so much and going around and talking to people and everything. I still haven't seen the film yet. Aww. I haven't, seen I haven't film. watched it. But however, um, unfortunately, I went online and I basically know every single thing Yo. about the plot. <laughs> Thanks, Reddit. Don't go online. Thanks, Reddit. <laughs> that subreddit just kind of like did it. But no, I, I still plan on seeing it. I'm, I'm excited. But, you know, we've also got a lot of things online. Um, there is uh, Jones in the Mix story. She had uh, Mikey Bustos, who is a YouTube star, has been commissioned to come out here and produce a film about the Guam shopping experience. That's very, very good. And your story, Issa, about uh, the family and their trials and tribulations with the hospital system. Next, uh, and also you'll find uh, a star couple of stories we did online uh, this week regarding uh, the retro raises or retroactive raises given to out of loop staffers. The Attorney General of Guam earlier this week, she said that they were illegal. So a part of the solution, she says, is they have to be paid back. So out of loop, uh, part of the controversy is out of loop plans to issue a second check to all of these employees, but with that second check, they'll use it to repay it back. Uh, the AG says it's not illegal, but she doesn't agree with this because she feels it's uh, a failure to, or she's breaking the public's trust. And a lot of these retro raises, there are a lot of controversy over it. So, and Vice Speaker BJ Cruz, who enact, actually initiated the whole review of the raises, um, he introduced a bill that would, what did he say? It said he would, it would straighten the crooked salary schemes. Uh, bill 222, uh, it would like prohibit bonus pay and uh, and when it, they, you do pay adjustments, it does it in equal installments instead of one giant lump sum like they, they've normally been doing. He also wrote to the AG though, asking her to uh, appoint a special prosecutor to investigate the whole thing and if necessary to prosecute those involved. So um, obviously it's not gonna end anytime soon, so we'll have more on that probably next week. <laughs> the saga, as Nestor would say, continue. the saga continues. <laughs> Just like Star Wars, right? Yeah, yeah and you know, people, people also had very polarizing opinions about that, Ken, one way and the other, very, very passionate online. People like Definitely. going all out with their comments and everything, which we invite you to read. So as for myself, the week started off kind of kind of sad. We, we had a few accidents, a few uh, auto pets, uh, in in our area, in our uh, our side of the village, and actually the Guam Police Department, as of Friday, are asking the community for help in identifying the male pedestrian who was hit here in Harmon, outside the Iglesia Cristo Church. He's only described as being in his 50s and of Asian descent. He's still in critical condition at the Guam Regional Medical City. So he was hit earlier this week. That was December 13. He was hit 
and he remains in critical condition if you're missing a loved one or you know that you have a feeling that this may be someone you know you are asked to call the guam crime stoppers at 477 help there or you can also call 475 86 15 or you can even send us an email we can help you report it and if you have any other stories you'd like us reporters to look into you can email us at reporters at kuam.com or facebook message us Thank you.